Welcome to Americana Archives. Today's headline is Jail Cat Makes Rounds of Prison Each Night. This story originally came from Minneapolis, Minnesota. It says Bill, the county jail cat, has achieved fame. Bill is three years old. For two years, he has been acting as night watch in the jail. For that length of time, jailer Nels Clausen has not seen Bill, and he thought the cat had done the seemingly impossible escape from jail. On the contrary, Bill has been very much on the job and has been active in preventing jailbreaking. It all came out the other day when James Merrick, night jailer, related how Bill had followed him on his rounds for the cell block each half hour during the night. Other nightmen confirmed the story as having been true in their time on duty within the last two years. Promptly at 6 p.m., as I have come on duty, said William Tinkham, another night sentry, Bill has come out from his place in the lower drawer of the desk. He crawls in from behind the desk and has made himself a comfortable home in the lower drawer. Out he comes at that hour, brushes against me, and then goes to the elevator entrance to see if the wicker cage that guards the door is closed. We have to make the rounds every half hour, and right to the second, old Bill is there to start. The cat seems to know when the time comes for ringing up the signal station, for he makes the rounds just as regular as clockwork, and if I seem to take too long in making the inspection, he strikes out ahead and goes back to the signal box to wait for me. Jailer Nels Clausen said that the cat was born in the jail three years ago and for a year was kept in the jailer's apartments. Then one day he missed it. This story came from the great state of Louisiana, being reported in the Tensa Gazette of February 28, 1913. Thank you for joining us today. If you want to continue to uncover all of America's lost and forgotten history, now remember before you leave to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and remember to like and comment below. And we will see you next time on Americana Archives.